Hi, my name is Andrew, and today I would like to teach you how to find the molecular mass of iron 2 chloride. It's a very simple process, and I made a nice little table to help us out. Bam, so the first thing we're going to do is write down the elements that we see in the compound, right? So we see iron Fe, and we see chlorine Cl. Next is then to write down the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of uh, iron, there's an invisible one, so that means there's one iron. At the bottom of chlorine, there's a two, so that two tells us that there are two atoms of chlorine. Next, we're going to multiply it by the mass of the element. These masses are found on the periodic table. Let's take a look. Iron's mass is 55.85 and chlorine is 35.45, right? So we're going to write those in. So 55.85 for iron, and then chlorine is 35.45. I don't even know. My writing is getting worse and worse. Shouldn't it get better the more you practice? No, I guess not. So to find the total mass of the element, we're simply going to multiply this row and across. So the total mass of iron here is going to be 55.85. And then the total mass of chlorine, when we multiply those two together, is going to be 70.90. To find then the total mass of the entire compound, it's very simple. Just add up this column now, and that works out to be 126.75. And the units here are in terms of AMU, atomic mass units. All right, that's since we're finding molecular mass. So now you know how to find the molecular mass of iron 2 chloride. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll check you in the next video. Check you. I don't even know what that means, but I'll see you. Well, I won't see you because it's a video. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you. Take care.